Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT and AI technology. Chatbot GTP. If you're fairly active on social media or you frequently read tech related news, you'll undoubtedly have heard about Chat GPT, which was launched to the public for free at the end of November 2022. If you haven't heard of it before, well, in simple terms, it's essentially a type of artificial intelligence that can easily converse with people via a chat box. Whilst that might not sound impressive on its own, given that chat bots have existed for years, what will blow your mind is that this piece of AI uses a huge data set of text and information in order to generate responses to pretty much any question and prompt. And when I say a huge data set, I mean huge. As part of its training, this thing has pretty much been fed the entirety of the internet and it's self-learning as well. So it's incredibly smart and it's able to more or less mimic human conversation so well that unless you know it's AI, you probably won't be able to tell. Since ChatGPT was released publicly, people have really been using it extensively and they've been pushing it to its limits in order to understand just how useful it can be when used as a tool to help businesses grow. Having used ChatGPT myself over the past few weeks, and having reviewed tons of videos on the topic, I've learned that it's incredibly useful if you're running or about to start running an Amazon FBA business. And if you know how to use this tool properly, it's going to save you a mountain of time and money. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use it. And if you're a new or existing Amazon FBA seller, I'm gonna show you some top tricks that you can implement in order to save your business huge amounts of time and money. First things first, in order to start using ChatGPT, you'll need to create an account, which for the time being is completely free. Whether or not it'll move to a subscription-based model in the short term, we don't know yet, but you'll almost certainly have to start paying to use this bad boy to its full potential at some point in the near future. So if you haven't got an account and started playing around with it yet, head over to chat.openai.com and create an account which can be done fairly quickly. Before you start throwing complex requests and Amazon FBA related tasks at what will soon become your new best virtual pal, get a feel for what it's capable of by asking it a couple of questions and having a chat. Whilst that might sound odd, Doing this small exercise is going to help you to quickly understand and appreciate its response times, accuracy, and the most effective way to phrase questions in order to get the best response. Chat GPT's responses are limited to around 500 words. So if you find that its response isn't as detailed as you'd like, or it hasn't fully answered your question, you can simply type out continue and it will then continue to respond in the next message. As I mentioned earlier, chat GPT is self-learning and it'll incorporate anything that you've said or told it in the same chat in its subsequent responses to you. So if you're going to be giving it multiple unrelated tasks, my advice is to press new chat and start afresh each time. That way, nothing will get confused. Now that you're familiar with what ChatGPT is and how to use it, let's now run through some of the ways that you can use it to save time and money when it comes to your Amazon FBA business. Believe it or not, but using ChatGPT's AI can help you with your Amazon FBA product research. Whilst we're not quite at the stage yet where you can instruct it to go out and find you a product to sell, what you can do is get it to analyze any Amazon products reviews and then look for trends and themes. This type of analysis is going to be a huge help to you if you want to ensure that your product also has everything that customers love about your competition as well as if you want to look for clues on ways to improve or differentiate your offer. In order to get ChatGPT to do this analysis for you, first you'll need to download any product's full list of reviews 
using Helium 10, which you can do by running their Review Insights tool, which is a feature of their Chrome extension. Once you've done that, simply copy the list of reviews and then instruct ChatGPT to analyze them and create a list that summarizes the top five things that customers like about the product, the top five things that customers dislike about the product, and the top five desired improvements. You can then paste the reviews below your message, press enter, and in no time at all, you'll be given your answer. How easy is that? If you're looking to follow the private label selling strategy with Amazon FBA, then at some point you're going to need to come up with a suitable brand name and following that a brand story. Some people find it quite difficult to think of an appropriate name for their product, which is no longer going to be a problem because ChatGPT can help you. In order to get some free brand name ideas courtesy of AI, simply ask it to give you 10 different brand names for the product that you're looking to sell and then hit enter. If you don't like any of the names, then ask it again, and it's likely that it'll give you an entirely different list. Following that, if you need help coming up with a brand story or mission statement, something that's proven to help build an emotional connection with the customer, then you can simply ask ChatGPT to do that for you, and all you need to do is provide it with something to build off. So where you're from, what you're selling, and who the product is for. Here you can see an awesome brand story that was created in no time at all with very little information. And you can stick that on your Amazon listing and there you have it, your own brand story. Once you've found a product that you want to sell on Amazon and you've ordered it from your supplier, you'll need to put together your listing and that includes your title, bullet points and your description. If you're someone that doesn't like writing, you suffer from writer's block or English isn't your first language, then using ChatGPT to help you put something together, it's a no-brainer. In my experience, it's not quite advanced enough to write compelling listings without a lot of editing and amending. But with that said, it can still act as a great starting point for ideas that includes the main keywords for your niche. In order to get the most efficient response from ChatGPT, simply describe what your product is, its main features and who it's for, and then ask it to write out five bullets and a description that summarizes these. If you want to go a step further, you can tell it what layout style to use for the bullet points, as well as what keywords to include. And if you don't like any of the results, tell it what to change and why, or just ask it to do it again. It's meant to be self-learning, so the more that you can correct it, the better it will become. As an Amazon FBA business owner, you're undoubtedly going to get questions and random messages from customers all over the country. And some of those messages may well be complaints that really spoil your mood. Rather than risk getting angry and sending an abusive message back to the customer, which I don't advise that you do, why not get ChatGPT to respond to the question or complaint in a polite, professional and courteous manner and one that basically will resolve the issue without you running the risk of getting a bad review or a negative piece of feedback. All that's needed from you in order to get the best type of response from the AI is to tell it the type of manner to reply in, whether you want to give a refund or an exchange, and then for some additional context, the type of business that you run. Once you've included that, paste in the customer's email and then marvel at the professional response that you get that you can now simply copy and paste over as a message back to the customer. In addition to using ChatGPT to communicate with customers, you can also use it to communicate with Amazon's seller support, who are notorious for misunderstanding questions and messages, particularly if they're badly written. ChatGPT's clear and concise messaging can really help to solve this problem. And it can even be used to help you write a plan of action if you ever get suspended. Here, for example, I told it that my account had been suspended for selling too many defective items 
and I needed to come up with a plan of action in order to get reinstated. In no time at all, it came up with numerous action points to stop this happening again, which if I was suspended, I would have no hesitation in using. An amazing time saver that I'm sure you can use to get your account back up and running in the event that it is actually suspended. Although fingers crossed that never happens. If you weren't familiar with ChatGPT before this video, I'm sure you can appreciate just how insanely powerful it is. And it's only gonna get better as time goes on and it continues to improve. So make sure you create an account now whilst it's still free and see what else you can get it to help you with. If you discover any other ways that it can help with the running of an Amazon FBA business, then let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.